Hi, as the time for board exams comes near, let's understand how to study for computer science subject. What we will see is how the syllabus has changed after reduction by CBSE board. As per sample paper issued by CBSE, what is the mark distribution across units? And based upon this, what type of questions you can expect and in what sequence you should study to get maximum marks. Let's first start by seeing how the syllabus has reduced. The class 12 computer science syllabus is divided into these three units, computational thinking and programming 2, which is Python programming for 40 marks, computer networks for 10 marks, and database management for 20 marks, totaling to 70 marks of theory, and then 30 marks of practical. In each of them, there are reductions and we will see what those reductions are. In Python programming, there is no change in initial sections of functions and file handling. In using Python libraries, creation of libraries is removed and only import of Python libraries is there. The whole of recursion and idea of efficiency has been cut off. In data structures, stack operations are kept but queue operations has been removed. Let's now look at computer networks. Here in Introduction to Web Services, whole section on web scripting and web 2.0 has been removed. In addition, e-commerce payment transactions using online banking, mobile banking, payment apps and services is also removed. In Database Management, the major change is in SQL command section where all SQL commands like SQL create table, drop table, alter table, or update, insert, delete commands are removed. Here do note, while the command usage is removed, you still need to know about the DDL commands to answer theory questions. Other SQL commands such as select or SQL functions, joins are still in the syllabus. Next let's see how marks are distributed in the sample question paper. The sample paper is divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A has two sections. Section 1 is of 15 marks and has 21 short questions of 1 marks each, out of which you have to attempt 15 questions. Section 2 is of 8 marks and has two case studies. Each has 5 questions of 1 mark each and you have to attempt any 4. Part B has descriptive answer questions and it has three sections. Section 1 is of 20 marks and has 10 short answer questions of 2 marks each in which two questions have internal options. Section 2 is of 12 marks and has 4 long answer questions of 3 marks each in which two questions have internal options. Section 3 is of 15 marks and has 3 very long answer questions of 5 marks each in which one question has internal option. So this is how your question paper will look like. Now let's see how these questions or marks are distributed across the units. For Python programming, in part A, you can expect around 10 questions to be asked in section 1, which are one mark questions, one question in section 2, which is the case study, where you will have five questions and you have to answer any four. This could be to complete a program kind of question. In part B, which is descriptive answer question, you can expect 5 questions of 2 marks, 3 questions of 3 marks and 1 question of 5 mark in each of these sections. While it is said descriptive, in Python expect most of the questions to be writing a program. For computer networking, in part A you can expect 5 questions to be asked in section 1 which are one mark questions. In part B, which is descriptive answer questions, you can expect two questions of two marks in section one and one questions of five mark in section two. For database management, in part A, you can expect around six questions to be asked in section one, which are one mark question, one question in section two, which is the case study, where you will have five questions and you have to answer any four. In part B, which is descriptive answer questions, you can expect three questions of two marks in section one, one question of three marks in section two, 
and one question of 5 marks in section 3. Now let's see what type of questions are asked and based upon that how to prepare for the exam. My suggestion is to start with computer networking first. It is the easiest and you can finish it very quickly. It also has some quick wins as the 5 mark question over here is a network design question which is very standard and you can easily answer it after going through a few similar problems. For the 1 mark and 2 mark questions, you can expect these short questions to be distributed across these topics which you need to study one by one. First thing to focus on is to learn all abbreviations. They will definitely ask them in the exam. The question expected will be more of application questions. Like instead of write about this network protocol or device or media, there will be some situation given and you have to give the right protocol, device or media which can be used for that situation. So practice more of application questions. Next, I would recommend database programming. Again, because it is a topic with standard questions and you can learn quite a bit by just doing some sample questions itself. Here the short 1 mark question and 2 mark question will be any kind of question on these topics like explaining any basic database concept or difference between commands or functions or data types or it can be what command is to be used for particular situation kind of question. So they will assess if you know the basics well. The case study question, the 3 mark and 4 mark questions are application questions. Here you will be given one or more tables and asked questions on it. In case study, the question will be more around table design, basic relational database concepts such as asking the degree, cardinality, keys and some basic queries. The 3 and 5 mark question is where you will be given two tables and based upon that you have to either write SQL commands or give the result of some SQL commands. Once you go through the SQL commands and SQL functions and practice 3-4 similar questions, you will easily get hang of this and then you can just focus on some tricky variations which are asked. Next comes Python. Since this is a bigger topic, we will first do one more level of drill down over here to check as to how the 40 marks are split into Python syllabus. With 9 1 mark question and 3 2 mark questions, straight 15 marks are coming from class 11 syllabus. The questions are all on testing the basics like identifying the right token, operators, knowing the print statement, finding the errors and predicting the output kind of questions. They will check if you understand how to use string, list, tuple and dictionary, especially their functions. So revising on Python basics should be the first thing you should target. You can also expect short questions on libraries and if you know how to use math, random or statistic libraries you have learnt in 11th. This is what you should cover next. From class 12th syllabus, you can expect couple of 1 to 2 mark questions on this but key questions are the programs. You can expect one program each on function, text files, binary files, CSV files and data structures. Most of them will have internal choice but you cannot skip any of them. Amongst these, data structure is very short and you can easily master this by learning stack push and pop operations. Next you should pick up file handling covering text file, binary file and CSV files. In all of these, there are some standard programs which you can practice and get the basics right. Functions I am keeping for last. It is an easy topic but there is no prediction of what kind of program they can ask on it. It can be something very simple or difficult and there are quite a few which you need to cover. This summarizes the changes, sample paper mark distribution and your study plan. If you follow this, you can easily score 95 plus marks. If you still have any doubt, you can reach out to us at simplycoding.in. Thank you and all the best.